Electronic instruments have been around for a long time. Early electromechanical versions of acoustic keyboards ended up establishing themselves as unique, distinctive, classic sounds of their own. In the 60s and 70s, analog synthesizers, based on electronic oscillators and filters, brought not only new synthetic takes on classic instruments, but introduced a whole world of creative sounds and sound effects. And in the 80s, digital synthesizers followed up on this with their own unique voices and characters. All of these instruments were used as both playable instruments, often emulating familiar real instruments, but also as sources for purely artificial instrumental sounds and effects. Eventually, the pursuit of electronically emulated acoustic instruments seemed to come to its apotheosis in the 90s with sampling technology. After a unique implementation of analog sampling in the 60s, digital sampling took recordings, samples of notes from real instruments, and mapped them into playable instruments with a high degree of verisimilitude. But sampling can be CPU, RAM, and storage intensive, and while sampled instruments can sound uncannily like the acoustic instruments they're based on, they often don't play as naturally as the real thing. This is where modeling comes in. Physical modeling, also sometimes referred to as component modeling, creates a virtual instrument from scratch via computer algorithms, formulas, that emulate the physical components and vibrating characteristics of acoustic instruments. The technical theories behind modeling have been around for many years, but only the advances in computing power over the last 20 or 30 years made it possible to use that knowledge to design software-based instruments that can be played in real time. Modeling can be used to artificially generate all the components of a physical object, as well as the way they respond to the player's creative touch. This makes the best modeled instruments potentially more musically expressive than sample-based instruments. And even though the art of physical modeling is still a work in progress, it's already firmly established as a tool for creating realistic, expressive virtual instruments. Even before modern CPU power allowed modeling technology to be successfully applied to real-time virtual instruments, modeling was used to emulate hardware audio processors. Recording engineers and producers in the digital age lamented the loss of the subtle distortions and dynamic nonlinearities that analog recording and mixing gear introduced, which are credited with giving analog recordings and mixes a warm, rich, highly desirable sound quality. Component modeling techniques were used to analyze the individual electronic components in analog audio hardware. The resistors, capacitors, and transformers in EQs, compressors, delays, and the like. And then a series of algorithms would act on a signal source, emulating the effect all those components would have on the audio signal if it were passed through the original hardware processor. Front panel controls duplicate the effects they'd have on the original boxes, and processing a signal through a plugin that models a specific hardware box can sound virtually indistinguishable from processing the signal with the actual hardware unit. This is especially true with dynamic effects like compression, where the unique response of a hardware unit is often based on the specific characteristics of the circuit components, and accurate dynamic modeling of those circuit components is a big part of the fidelity to the original effect. Physical modeling techniques were next successfully applied to electromechanical keyboards, like the Hammond organ, electric pianos like the Rhodes and Wurlitzer, and the clavinet. The physical components that produce and shape notes on those instruments were emulated by algorithms, providing a dynamic response to the player's touch. Because these were closed electromechanical systems, the modeling didn't have to include more complex and CPU-intensive aspects like acoustic resonance, making it possible to create realistic models even with more limited CPU power. Eventually, CPUs gained enough juice to allow for full-blown modeling of all aspects of acoustic instruments, and successful emulations of familiar instruments like drums, bass, acoustic piano, and others have established themselves as highly expressive alternatives to sample-based instruments. And that's where this course comes in. The course will start off with a brief history of modeling instruments, a more detailed comparison between sampling and modeling technologies, and an introduction to the terminology and typical parameters of physically modeled instruments. Then the course will take a look at a number of physical modeling instruments, both hardware and software. A quick look at hardware instruments will range from one of the earliest designs to current hardware modelers. For software modelers, we'll look at a number of popular virtual instruments 
from those that emulate specific electronic and acoustic instruments to more general purpose modelers, which incorporate multiple modeling algorithms for emulating everything from real acoustic instruments to creating unreal but entirely natural sounding and playing acoustic instruments and effects. In the next video, we'll start off with a brief history of physical modeling instruments.